A session is a Capture One native workflow that is recommended for tether shooting. It is the industry standard, so it is a preferred option for studio photographers. We can start by creating a new session. To do that, we need to go to the top menu and select File, New Session. Now we have to give a name to our session. It is actually a good idea to create a standard and stick with it for consistency. In this case, we're going to do inverted date and the project name, which is going to be Sessions. We hit Enter, and now we have a blank session. Before starting the shoot, let's take a look at the library. Here in the library, we see that Capture One has already created four separate folders, which are Capture, Selects, Output, and Trash. This is always going to happen whenever you create a session in Capture One. Note that these folders are also created in the Finder, so this will be an exact mirror of what's happening in Capture One. By default, new captures will be sent to the Capture folder, and all process files will be sent to the Output folder. Now that we know a little bit of how sessions work, let's start by shooting some photos. Let's go to the Tether Tool tab, and let's connect our camera. To shoot Tether, you will need a compatible camera. You can check the compatibility of your camera with the link below. Depending on your camera model, you may need some additional setup from your camera menu. If you're shooting with Nikon, Sony, or Fujifilm, you can check our documentation in the annexes. If you're shooting with Canon, there's no additional setup required. Another thing to consider is the tethering cable you're using. There's different brands that are specialized in making tethering cables, such as Area 51, Luna, Cobra, or Tether Tools. Now that we are in our Tether Tool tab, we can see there's no camera available, so we need to connect it. So let's turn on the camera. Let's plug in the USB cable. And we can see the moment we do that, if the camera is recognized, it will show up in your camera tool, and then we can see the camera model and the lens information. Now we are ready to shoot. Gabby, please. Thank you. Now we can start shooting some photos. Thank you. Let's take a closer look at the camera tool now. Here we can see all the camera settings and we can adjust them according to our needs. So for example, I'm going to close on a bit and then I'm going to compensate using the ISO. Now we're ready to shoot again. Let's now apply some adjustments to this last capture. So to do that, let's move on to the Adjustments tool tab and let's apply some color grading. Let's tweak the white balance just a little bit and we will also use the color balance tool. Now, if we keep shooting, you can see that all the settings that I made will be applied to subsequent captures. This is all done by default and it can be adjusted from the Tether tool tab on the next capture adjustment tool. If your camera is not connecting or you're experiencing an unstable connection, you can check out the troubleshooting guide below. Now that we know how to connect our camera and do some adjustments, let's take a closer look at some organization options that sessions offer. You can also drag your images to select and trash to keep your session organized. Notice also how a Capture One folder is created in the Finder. This contains all the Capture One metadata, including previews, adjustments, and all the files related to the session. You can also add or move images to folders that are not in the session by default. The best way to do that is to work with session favorites. Let's create a new folder and add some reference images in it. Then we drag it onto our session favorites tool in Capture One. Doing this will create a shortcut in Capture One. When we select this favorite folder, we can see all the files it contains. Here you can add shortcuts to any folder in your operating system, so the files containing them will become part of the session. We recommend keeping all your session favorites within your session folder to avoid accidental data loss. Session favorites are particularly useful to organize files as you shoot tethered. For example, now that we are done with this first look, we may want to shoot the new look into a different folder. In this case, I'll first create a new favorite called Look2. Now we right-click on it and select Setup as Capture Folder. Now, as we keep shooting, notice how all our new captures are going into the Look2 folder. 
You can also use the system folder section to navigate your hard drives and sync folders with your sessions without adding them as favorites. Lastly, you can use albums and smart albums for organizing your session without changing the location of your original files. This is what we call virtual organization. You can manually drag your files into an album or add search criteria to a smart album for automatic sorting of your images. Note that the original files are not moving. You should think of a session as a self-contained structure that contains everything that you need for a specific project. This is why we recommend to create one session for each different project. It is also easier like this to backup or transfer to a different computer. Over time, your archives should start looking like this.